Hello, everyone. I am uh, Pastor Nick Williams. I'm from uh, Airdrie, Alberta, Airdrie Victory Church. Woo! Praise the Lord. Happy, happy, happy anniversary. Man, Dr. George, Dr. Hazel, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for everything you've poured your lives into so that we can see the fruit of what you poured into today. It's a powerful thing. Happy, happy anniversary to everyone in Victory. Man, I'm from uh, Airdrie Victory. Pastor Sherman, and Pastor Amanda, they've been, uh, man, with us for so long. They've been our senior pastors for, for 12 years for me, 14 years for me. I've been their associate for 12 years. And uh, praise the Lord. It's good when you find a good place, isn't it? So anyway, I don't want to waste all my time. I see I have 45 seconds that I've, no, I haven't wasted them. I've used them expediently. But uh, today we're talking about the call of God, answering the call. And Pastor Jesse did a great job. I'm going to go through the word because I love the word. Not saying I love it more than Pastor Jesse, but. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Let's go to 1 Samuel 3.1. 1 Samuel 3.1 says, Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord, listen, the word of the Lord was what? Was rare in those days. Rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation. Interesting. Number two, and it came to pass at that time, while Samuel was lying down, that the Lord called him and he answered, Here I am. So he ran to Eli. And he said, here I am, for you called me. And Eli said, I didn't call you. I did not call. Lie down again. And he went and laid down. Then the Lord called yet again, Samuel. I don't know if God sounds like Val Kilmer or if he sounds like uh, Charlton Heston. <laughs> so Samuel arose and went to Eli and he said, here I am, for you called me. He answered, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. Isn't it interesting? In this passage, we see Samuel didn't know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. Number eight, and the Lord called Samuel again the third time. And he arose and went to Eli and he said, here I am, for you did call me. You did call me. You know, answering the call when, you, uh, when you're listening for the voice of God, often it can sound an awful like a lot like those God has put above you. Often, oftentimes it can sound a lot like Dr. George and Dr. Hazel. Often the voice of the Lord can sound an awful like, lot like the spiritual authority that God has put in you for in your life to benefit you and to grow you. Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, go, lie down, and it shall be. If he calls you, that you may say, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Okay, how do you answer the call? How do you answer the call? Don't hang on to the old. Don't sacrifice who you are now for who you could be. Don't sacrifice who you are now via circumstances and op opposition and oppression for who you could be, who you're being called out to be. Allow those who God has placed in your life to speak into it. And like Dr. Jordo says, do it big, do it good, do it together. You can never do it alone. So Samuel went and laid down. Where did he lay down? In his place. In his place. You must answer the call in your place and not in someone else's. Now the Lord came and stood isn't that interesting? Now the Lord came and stood. The Lord looks to call you at the place he sent you last. The Lord looks to call you at the place he sent you last. And he called us, he called as at other times, he said, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, speak, for your servant hears. Now listen, listen, answering the call exposes you to revelation. Answering the call exposes you to revelation. The Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do something in Israel at which both ears of everyone who hears it will tingle. Listen, we can only answer the call. Sorry, we can only speak once we've answered the call. Answering the call actually gives us revelation and revelation qualifies us to speak. Imagine, praise the Lord. Imagine Dr. George and Dr. Hazel didn't do what they did. Imagine, where would all of us be? 
God always calls us, I'm out of time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, I'll finish the sentence. <laughs> Embedded in the call is his supernatural ability to do the impossible. Answering the call connects you to that ability. Connect to that ability. Hallelujah. Who's next? Praise the Lord.